Welcome back. My name is Falonir, and this is my Learn to Leon Board 2 series, where I talk about functions, features, and commands inside of Leon Board 2 and explain them to you so you can use them to go make some awesome stuff in your stream. And today we're going to talk about trigger pull data. This is essentially a command that you would use to receive information from Twitch whenever you get a new follower, a new subscriber, information about people when they redeem channel points, all kinds of stuff. I'm going to show you how to use it in a really interesting way, show you what information it gives you, and show you how to use that information. Let's get started. All right, so let's hop here into Leon Board 2, and we go to our Learn to Leon Board 2 deck. And right here, we have a button called Trigger Pull Data Info. If we go into this, we see the Trigger Pull Data command. We are saving the information that it gives us under the variable info, and right now we aren't pulling anything. So normally, we would go to our little hamburger menu, and we would find um, different categories of information we would want to pull. So if we want to pull information on uh, someone that raids us, we would go to the Twitch raid and we could pull the username, display name, user ID, the number of people that are coming with them or info about the channel. Um, all this is actually doing is providing a filter for the information that Twitch gives you. But Twitch gives you all of this information. And let me show you how that works. So right now we have the pull value uh, is just blank and if we go here our trigger we have for a trigger for a new follower for rating for hosting and for subscribing but we're going to be simulating all of this with the transmitter so if we hit save hit save uh, hit go tab 106 106 is the button that we were just looking at and right now there's nothing in it so if we test follower we see here that we now have a new object called info, and this is all the information that Twitch is giving us whenever we get a new follower. So if we open the little eyeball here, we see that this is a trigger type of six. The user ID is this string of characters. The display name is cyanide sugar. Hi, cyanide. And the username is cyanide sugar, all lowercase, because usernames are just the lowercase versions of display names. So we have all of this information that it's giving us for a new follower. And normally in the little hamburger menu, we're just filtering out specifically what information we want. So all of this is held under info. If I wanted to take the display name and do something with it, I would use info dot display underscore name. So let's do that now. We go back in, let's paste here and we have a chat message that says, welcome. Thank you. User, I'm going to use display name here. Welcome. Thank you. Info dot display name for the follow. So if we wanted to pull multiple bits of information from the object and use all of it, all we need to do is one trigger pull data, empty out the pull value so we're not filtering specific information, and now we have all of it, the username, the display name, and anything else that comes with it, and we can use that wherever we want in this button. Now let's simulate that for a raid and give you some more info. So we're gonna hit save, save, tab 106. We will delete this uh, info object, so we don't need it anymore. And we're going to simulate a raid, and we'll do a raid of three. Um, now, I will have to cut this video because I'm going to have a raid video that plays normally for my stream. So uh, we'll be right back. Test raid. All right, now we're back. If you want to see the really cool raid video that I just had to cut out of this, go check me out at twitch.tv backslash Falonir. Raid me, bring your community, have some fun with us. Anyway, so now we have a new object called info. Let's look inside of it. So we see we have an amount of three, which we set down here. We had three raiders. It is a trigger type of four. The user ID is this string of numbers. The display name is Mr. Waldo. Hi, Waldo. And the username is Mr. Waldo. Again, all lowercase because that's how usernames are stored. So if I wanted to thank Mr. Waldo for the raid and say how many raiders uh, that Waldo came with, we would use info.displayName to show the display name and info.amount to show the number of raiders that came in. And again, we can do all of that without having to use multiple trigger pull data because it all comes in together and then we just use the pieces that we want out of it. I really hope all that made sense to you. Make some buttons, test this out, test to see what info you get for followers, for hosting, for subbing, for channel point redemptions, all kinds of stuff, get all that information and use it wherever you need it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. I also wanna take a moment to thank all of these wonderful people right here who have been supporting me on Kofi. If you wanna be an awesome person that also supports me on Kofi, then consider supporting me on Kofi, link down in the description below. 
Reminder that I do stream on Twitch three days a week, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Come follow me on Twitch, see what we're up to. Also, if you haven't, hit that subscribe button and drop a comment down below if you like this video, if you have any questions about it, or if you have any ideas for future videos that you'd like me to cover. Y'all have a great night. We'll see you later.